Because of the success of science, there is a kind of a, I think a kind of pseudoscience that social science is an example of a science which is not a science. They don't do scientific. They follow the forms. Uh, you gather data, you do so and so and so forth, but they don't get any laws. They don't haven't found out anything. They haven't got anywhere yet. Maybe someday they will, but it's not very well developed. But what happens is, at an even more mundane level, we get experts on everything that sound like they're sort of scientific expert. They, they're, they're not scientific. They sit at a typewriter and they make up something like uh, oh, uh, food grown with uh, fertilizer that's organic is better for you than food grown with fertilizer that's inorganic. may be true, may not be true, but it hasn't been demonstrated one way or the other. But they'll sit there on the typewriter and make up all this stuff as if it's science, and they become an expert on foods, organic foods, and so on. There's all kinds of myths and pseudoscience all over the place. Now, I might be quite wrong. Maybe they do know all this thing. But I don't think I'm wrong. See, I have the advantage of having found out how hard it is to get to really know something, how careful you have to be about checking the experiments, how easy it is to make mistakes and fool yourself. I know what it means to know something. And therefore, I can't, I see how they get their information. And I can't believe that they know it. They haven't done the work necessary, haven't done the checks necessary, haven't done the care necessary. I have a great suspicion that they don't know that this stuff is, don't know, and they're intimidating people by, I, I think so. I, I don't know the world very well, but that's what I think.